Look at marriage. Women are also statistically more likely to be taking care of the household chores. And they're statistically more likely to be taking care of most, if not all, things related to the children. And they're statistically more likely to seek marriage help and marriage counseling to try to improve the relationship. So it's specifically related to the imbalance of the physical and emotional workload inside of marriage. Divorce is a soul-shifting, gut-wrenching decision with financially, physically, and emotionally devastating consequences. No one wants to get a divorce. They want to get away from emotional pain. 70% of divorces are initiated by women. Moreover, 90% of divorces. Dr. Wendy Walsh here. I'm a psychology professor and an author, and I've been writing about the science of love for a few decades. This influencer is absolutely correct in the two reasons that she provided of why women are more likely to file for divorce than men. But there's one other reason that she doesn't know about, and it's that women now want more emotional investment from men in their relationships. And if they're not getting that emotion from men, they have their own paychecks now, so they leave. And also, males don't initiate the divorce because, again, the fact that most divorces are initiated by women further proves that it's men that benefit from marriages the most. Women do not benefit from marriages. Women do not benefit from marriages. So it's almost like if you want to make somewhat of a financial investment, then perhaps you can get married. But again, he has to be financially like stable. He has to be, honestly, he has to be... Um, uh, upper class because even from the mid from a middle class and from a lower class even when you get divorced you're not gonna get jack squat Hello, 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 somebody. Come on, hi, hi, my loves. How are you doing today? Come on, see in the hallway. Okay, so I'm really excited about this one. Okay, so um, so the numbers speak for themselves, right? It's it's women that are running. I mean, running, running, running away from these males because it's just such a detestable experience, and they 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 lie to you. They literally lie to you about everything. That's just not happening anymore because of social media. They can't lie anymore, and so a lot of women, I mean, in the masses, are waking up and saying, oh, whoa, 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 <gasps> no thanks, right? So let's take a look at some of the reasons why. Most women are the ones that initiate divorces, and then I'll come back at the end and, of course, add some of my thoughts onto it as well. Did you know that usually it's women that initiate divorce? Want to know why? A lot of men complain that their, their wife does not put out in the bedroom. The reason why the women are getting divorced is because when they do put out, they still don't get what they need. And then they become resentful. When they married you, they wanted more than a sexual partner. They wanted a friend, a companion, a romantic partner, and someone who would help fulfill family obligations with them. So if they're putting out in the bedroom, and you're not putting out in the rest of their life, they will resent you. Eventually, they're going to want to get away from you. And the reason why they're naggy or not fun is because they're tired and frustrated. Because it feels like no matter what they do, you won't do your part. Be a friend. Be a romantic partner. Fulfill family obligations. Oh my God, my God. Go ahead and smash that like button for me. Okay, go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me. I totally forgot again, forgot again, I forgot again. Ah! So smash that like button and that subscribe button. Leave it in the comments below what it is um, that you think about this particular issue, okay? Why do women file for divorce more than men do? I think it's in large part because men don't confront the situation. They disengage. So, you know, you're going to work every day. You're coming home. There's no sex life. There's no intimacy. There's no contact with your wife. You know, she maybe is doing all of the taking care of the kids and all the stuff around the house. And, you know, you're just living your little life on your own little island as a, as a guy, right? And not seeing all these other things that are going on around you. So I think probably in large part, we're just oblivious to a lot of the things that women are really in tune with. It's said that 70% of divorces are initiated by the wife. Why? 
First, unhappiness in the marriage. This could be due to financial problems, infidelity, lack of communication. Another reason is that women may feel unloved or unsupportive by their husband. If a husband is overly focused on, say, his career, his hobbies, golf, and not putting his wife first, that can lead to these feelings. Feeling trapped in the marriage. This could be due to financial dependence, religious beliefs, cultural expectations. It may be true that women are initiating divorce more often than men, but maybe that's a good thing because now they're empowered to leave the marriage and do better for themselves. And we love to see it. We've never made a video talking about why I wanted divorce, so I guess let's dive into it. Because on my Get Ready With Me video that's got millions of views, a lot of people are like, step one for weight loss, divorce him. And no, no, that's not like what my intentions were with that video. That's just sadly part of my story. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Lauren. I'm a weight loss influencer and I lost 87 pounds and also happened to get divorced. So let's go way back to the beginning. I met my ex-husband in college my first semester in 2014. We got married May 1st of 2017. We were in college at Missouri State at the time and he just like grabbed my promise ring and asked me to marry him. And then a week later told me he wanted to join the army, so which we had been dating for three years. I loved him. He was like the love of my life. So I said, yes, like love is all we need, right? So I dropped out of college. I got my associates in general studies, but like never finished my bachelor's at Missouri State and went on to become an army wife and got it in my head that I needed a baby instantly since I was leaving my family to go move like somewhere in the country, which what was wrong with me? I was 21 years old and like demanding a baby. Anyway, son was born in March of 2018, and by March of 2020, I wanted a divorce. Our marriage just started feeling like we were roommates, like we literally didn't have any intimacy. We didn't seem to have much in common anymore, like we didn't even like listening to the same music. We didn't have fun together anymore. He had his own struggles with mental health during our whole relationship, and I, like, it started to rub off on me, which sounds so bad, but I tried to take care of his needs for so long. Like, I would literally wrap this man up in blankets and give him baths and wash his whole body and, like, hold him tight in Walmart. Like, I did a lot of things for him. And then when I was struggling, where was he for me? I love this man. I was literally obsessed with him. Letting our relationship get to like that roommate level is what really, well, what really ruined it. And I tried telling him. He'd come home from work and just instantly sit in his recliner and be on his phone. And I said, hey, like, I need attention. I'm starting to be unhappy. Oh, okay. Weeks go by, nothing really changes. So I'm like, hey, um, I'm starting to like think about life without you. Like it's getting worse. I need attention. Like, let's do something fun together still like nothing hey i'm starting to imagine what life would be like with another man like i'm falling out of love with you we need to fix this still nothing or he would like do better for a week and then just go back to being lazy all the time around the same time too is when i started wanting to do better for myself and lose weight and find myself again and i felt like his he just has a very like low vibration personality and gets stressed out really easily and I felt like every single day like his negativity was bringing me down when I was trying so hard to like find my happiness again like I'd wake up ready to have a good day and his attitude instantly just like ruined it for me and like back to the whole intimacy thing I tried telling him like hey I googled it I said we need to start planning this because apparently like the less you do it the less you want it the more you do it the more you want it so let's schedule it he came home from work one day and I said, hey, can we do it later? Like, let's let's plan to do it. Oh, sure, maybe. Well, after dinner, he's using the bathroom and I'm folding laundry at the kitchen table and I got a book idea. So I bust into the bathroom because we're comfortable with each other like that to tell him my book idea only to find him like this <laughs> broke my heart. I cried so much. There were so many times I would just lay in our bed alone crying, feeling so unwanted, so unloved, just wanting to be touched, wanting to be wanted. Our relationship had other problems too. And of course I had my own like toxic energy I brought to the relationship, but I'm the one who asked for a divorce. And like, that is why I wanted it for the most part. Like I was tired of my feelings being hurt, tired of the grumpy attitude every, like all the time, tired of the laziness, like not helping me do anything around the house, which I'm a stay at home wife or I was a stay at home mom. But if I need help cleaning out a room upstairs, don't say like next weekend, then that weekend comes next weekend, then that weekend comes no next weekend. Like, no, help a bitch out. Like, come on.
Number one, women are more likely to feel held back by the marriage. In many marriages, women are still seen as primarily responsible for domestic duties. So if a woman has high expectations and responsibilities from her career and high expectations and responsibilities at home and does not have support from her husband or her career, she may not find the marriage to be in her best interest anymore. Number two, women often take on more of the emotional burden. As you know, communication is key to any marriage and men are not taught how they can communicate and process their emotions. As a result, women in marriages find they often will take on the emotional support system for the entire family. Without emotional support from their husbands, wives are often feeling alone and without a source of support within the marriage. Number three, women no longer tolerate consistent, unacceptable behavior. Women are no longer willing to put up with consistent, unacceptable behavior from their husbands like they were before. You see, once the honeymoon period is over, some men drastically change their behavior from romantic to controlling and emotionally dismissive or even abusive. Unfortunately, this happens in many, many marriages and women will not take that anymore. Divorce is because she knows that he won't. I'm sure you probably heard that women are usually the ones that file for divorce, but nobody ever really gives a theory as to why. But I'm gonna tell you what I believe is the reason why. Because women, especially women who are used to weaponized incompetence are used to seeing if something needs to be done she's going to do it whether it's the laundry bin like overflowing whether it's dishes piled up in the sink whether it's little johnny needs a bath needs homework especially if she's a woman who's used to dealing with a man who weaponizes incompetence she's going to do whatever needs to be done so if that man is unhappy if they're both unhappy he's not going to do it he's not even going to wash his own clothes he's not even going to wash his own plate out that he ate dinner off of he's not going to do it she has to do it it's hopefully for her the last thing she'll ever have to do for this man who after he can't do anything on his own so a couple of months ago i saw this video from this woman and she was basically saying people keep asking me why i'm divorcing this guy he's such a nice guy and she's like i'm gonna tell you why i'm leaving this man and she gives an example about how when they were getting a divorce they had to sell their house but they kind of split the duties of selling that house you know amongst each other one of his duties was to switch the utilities over to the new owner's uh, name so eventually some time passes and all of a sudden she gets a, a bill drafted from her account. So she texts him and she's like, did you ever switch over the utilities to the new owners? He doesn't say anything. Then all of a sudden, you know, maybe a couple of minutes later, you know, she gets an email basically saying that it's been fixed. Everything's been settled. And he, then he finally texts her back and was like, I've taken care of it. And then she gets on him. She's like, I told you to take care of this like months ago. And he's like, basically like, why are you on my back? You're always on my back eventually it gets tiring it gets exhausting having to run behind a grown man like a child and i think one of the reasons why women initiate divorces is because they are tired they are exhausted the man is always making them feel like she is a nag she's not a nag you're not responsible a responsible man doesn't have to be told more than once what he has to do also there's just so many reasons to not be engaged in a relationship with a male. And the biggest thing, ladies, I think the biggest thing is if you're going to be engaged in any type of relationship with a male, again, you have to make sure that he is worth it financially. That's the only way it's worth it to, to be engaged with the male species in any capacity. You have to make sure that he has the finances um required and even then even then do it at your own risk y'all because literally a lot of these males a lot of this this uh, species they will bring you nothing but stress unhappiness especially if you live with them so here's my thing right i think that and i tell women all the time have your own stuff have your own house have your own vehicle have all of your own things okay like don't ever like solely depend on this male for anything and i wouldn't even live with a, a, a male i really i couldn't live with a male full time all right so there's no there's just has to be like you can't be slaving for them you, you marrying them to me is pointless totally pointless unless he's like um a true one percenter and you are um some someone who 
could benefit from the financial support for the meantime, then it's probably not worth it for you because you really don't need a million dollars to be comfortable, right? Like you don't need a uh, million dollars to live a comfortable life, stress-free, peaceful, all of this good stuff, right? So that's really it But because they don't really bring anything else to the table. You see these women and even the men admitting that it's because of them. It's their fault. Even the men are admitting, yeah, it's our fault because we don't really do anything around the house and we end up not really caring about the women that we're married to. We end up not really helping them. Um, and then you hear from the women's perspective, it's the exact same feedback that the woman gives. Yeah, they end up not caring. They don't really help. They don't help you around the house. There's no emotional intelligence. There's no so emotional support. And you end up doing everything. So unless you're Pignesia and you like slaving and you just want to live a life where that's all you do with your life, no, most women are just like not worth it i'm moving on i mean look at this woman like the glow up is surreal she literally you see how like much weight she's lost since the divorce to the point where everyone started making jokes about it like how do you get back in shape and glow up get a divorce <laughs> like but the irony is that it's true because what happens is then you stop wasting your energy wasting your time pouring into someone that has never poured into you from day one Right. And then if you are delusional enough to have a child with this this male thinking that he's going to help you, you're in for the time of your life. You're in for the time of your life. And then, you know, what gets me sometimes, too, is like some of these males will say, oh, yeah, that's why women are suffering from depression and stuff like that. And I'm like, uh, yeah, only women that have somehow gotten themselves trapped with one of your species. Right. As soon as they get themselves released from one of your species, all of a sudden, that's when you see them glowing up, feeling a lot better, learning to love themselves, you know, so men for a very very long time have been allowed to get away with despicable behavior and well time's up right so the, all like women are leaving them in the masses and i think it's also because like you know for a long time they lied they kept lying about what marriage was like they kept lying about what it was like to be with 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 a man they kept they would lie they would literally lie to women right what it's like to be a mom now we know like being a mom probably sucks big time just because it's so hard and but you know they would lie the women would lie to each other and male, the men would lie to the women and then once they get hooked when, once you get trapped you know, through the marriage, through the having of a child, now you start seeing, oh my God, they lied to me and it's miserable here, you know, and the Pignesias just don't have enough strength to leave, right? So they end up living their whole lives doing nothing but that, suffering and crying and that's it. And they, they don't have enough uh, self-respect and self-value to get out of it. But yeah, so here you have it. All of the reasons from both men and women, but especially men admitting that it's their fault that most marriages end up in divorce and end up with women initiating the divorce. Okay, he, he's not even going to help you because most males, like once they divorce the, the mom, if you're a mom, once they divorce you as the mom, they also peace out and disappear from the children's life. So they never really love their children. A lot of them don't. Um, most of them don't. And most of them can't. They don't even love themselves, right? They don't even know what love is. Men don't even know what love is. So as soon as the mom divorces them or the mom's out of the picture, they don't even care to be a part of the child's life. And that's why you see most children grow up without ever even knowing the dad but the mom usually is always there and then it's the same uh, neanderthal males that will come and say things like oh fatherless behavior and it's like all right but a father is a male so again it's your fault so you're again admitting that you are the um subpar species you are the no good species you are the species that's not needed you are the most vile species talking about fatherless behavior it's not motherless behavior <laughs> so it's not the woman's fault it's your fault Right. So how, how are you going to keep complaining about something that is your fault? And you're literally saying that is your fault. Right. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, when you think about it, ladies don't get trapped. That's all I can say. Don't get trapped. OK, um, I even think that honestly, and I've, I've said this, I feel like being a side chick is way, way better. As long as you paying, paying for the bills, paying for everything, you don't got to see him all the time and someone else is sick. Because when you when you become a wife, it just is not a desirable. I mean, the only the only time you can benefit from being a wife is, is if you divorce him then you can actually get back some some type of financial benefit or some type of benefit. And it's usually only financial. Um, and that's only if you at least pick someone that has some some money because they don't have anything else. They don't have any emotions. They don't have they don't have any um, emotional intelligence. They don't have any ability to care. They don't have any ability to even love themselves. They don't even care about their own kids, which is why most of them, most most males are the ones that actually end up dying alone. Right. So you have to you have to be very strategic in the way you move and don't have them in your vicinity full time, right? Have your own home, have your own resources. Don't tell them too much about yourself, if anything, right? Like, um, 
you know what I mean? And and just just keep them at a distance. Don't let them trauma dump on you, telling you about their past and their life and blah, blah, blah. Like, no one cares. Hire a therapist because I'm not about to give you free therapeutic services and, for you to trauma dump on me and, and, and uh, you're not even paying me. You know what I mean? So not for those uh, therapeutic services. Like, there's literally professions for that. I'm in that profession, right? So, so y'all, um, th that's, you know, here we can kind of take a look at the fact that yet again, yet again, it's males that benefit from marriage. Marriage was not made for women. Marriage was primarily made for the benefit of, ma of males, of men, right? And yet they have the audacity to complain when you have someone in the house that's cleaning all your clothes, taking care of the kids, taking care of the house. You know, by the, by the time she's done, she's worked 80 plus hours that week because it's her job is around the clock because it's in the house there's no breaks for her right and then on top of that you want her to open her legs and then on top of that in today's day and age the woman has to work too because you aren't you as a male aren't able to uh pay all the bills and actually provide financially like you're supposed to does that make sense to you especially now that women are out earning men so does it, what sense does it make for a woman to, to do that so that's why you see most women are divorcing and they're not remarrying most women are not getting married most women are choosing no longer to have kids because it's not making sense from any perspective right they end up taking care of the kids by themselves anyway and most of the kids end up not even liking their dads because males are dumb right they're not useful um a lot of them anyway if not most of them so it ends up not making sense all around but oh my god Go ahead and smash that like button for me. Okay, go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me. I totally forgot again, forgot again, I forgot again. Ah! So smash that like button and that subscribe button. Leave it in the comments below what it is um, that you think about this particular issue. Okay, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.